For editors and artists who are new to using a colorist, there's a feature in Premiere that often gets overlooked, and that's called the Project Manager. You'll find it under File and Project Manager. Now this tool serves a very specific purpose, and that is when you're handing off the project to someone else, you often don't need to give them every single file that you shot during production. What would be great is if you could just give them the used files in the final cut. Now in the background here, I have the video I produced, which was the color review for Dune. Uh, once you have the edit locked and it's all prepped for color, you can open the project manager and select the timeline you want to use for this process. Below that, you'll find two very important options, and that is, what is the resulting project? Is it gonna be collecting the files and copying them to a new location, or to consolidate and transcode? For the purpose of color, we're gonna to wanna to just collect the files and copy them to the new location. The single most important thing you wanna make sure you have checked is this exclude unused clips. Some of the options below are grayed out because they're only available if you're doing the transcode option. But for the purpose of color, including audio conform, or the preview files, or renaming media files, we don't need any of those. The final step is telling the project manager where you want your files delivered to. So for our purpose here, we'll just say test copy and we will select that for our example. Down here under disk space, if you hit the calculate button, it'll give you an approximate resulting project size, which is kind of nice to know. From there, you hit the okay button and it will take care of copying over all the used files in that timeline to the new location. I will say one of the more frustrating parts of this process is it doesn't give a good estimate for how much time is left. So you just kind of have to sit there while it's copying the files. And there we go, it's done. Now for longer projects and depending on the speed of your drives, it might take a little longer. So you just have to be patient. And if we pull up the file, you will see that we have successfully copied over only the used pieces from this project. Now, occasionally there is a bug that people run into, which is when you hit the okay button, it's almost like the progress slider gets stuck and doesn't move. So here's what I'd say. Uh, first of all, it might not be stuck. Sometimes transfers take a really long time, but if it does, I will tell you the solution that I found to get around this bug. The thing you wanna do is go into your timeline and then select all and then copy and create a new project. So we're gonna create a new project here. We're just gonna say test project. And once you're inside this new project, close the old one down. So now we only have this fresh new project. Create a new sequence with whatever the proper settings are and then paste your timeline into this new sequence. Something about creating a fresh project and pasting this in seems to fix the bugs. Then try running the project manager again from this new clean project. Now DaVinci Resolve actually has a feature a lot like this. They don't call it the project manager, they call it media management, but it's a little more complex. If you'd be interested in a demo of how Resolve's project manager works, let me know down in the comments and we can make that a future video. All right, if you enjoyed this video, uh, hit the like button. And if you wanna see more content like this, subscribe button, notification bell, and we will see you next time. All right, bye friends.